Hey, it's Maggie Kay, and welcome to Oaxaca, the next stop on my Mexico trip. We started with a walk around town, which was really nice. Oaxaca is the kind of city that is just nice to walk through. We also went through a market and ended our little orientation tour at a chocolate factory. I liked watching the chocolate get made and we were given some samples of a chocolate drink and 100% cacao chocolate. So this is the first and then that's the second one mm. basically. Oh. Mm. And so right now it's like that and he's going to turn it yeah. into that. Yeah, so they, they will they will do everything they will put everything on the grinder and then it will be like this. It will be like mm -hmm. this is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? <laughs> That's a definitely a hundred percent. I want to finish it, but I also don't want to finish it. So horrible light in this hotel room. Um, but yeah, so we're back at the hotel and we're about to go out to see some textiles and have dinner and mezcal tasting. So yeah, let's go. It was really interesting seeing the process of the textiles from start to finish, especially how they create the colors. I don't have any video of that part because I volunteered to have the dyes mixed on my hand, but it was very cool, trust me. We started the dinner and mezcal tasting by making our own tortilla. Once everyone had their own tortilla finished, we moved into the dining room where the mezcal tasting started right away. We enjoyed the food between the rounds of mezcal. There were eight or so, and it was ordered from weakest to strongest. So today in Oaxaca, we are going on a little bit of an excursion, going to see some petrified waterfalls, some ruins, and a little more mezcal tasting, apparently. It takes about an hour and a half to get to Hierave al Agua from Oaxaca City. This was the top of my to-do list for my time in Oaxaca. I love waterfalls, and apparently that extends to rock waterfalls. We had a couple hours to walk around the waterfall and soak in the pools. <laughs> Thank you. 
After our time at the waterfall, we traveled along to Mitla, an archaeological site of the Zapotec culture. Our final stop for the day was a mezcal distillery. Even though we had already had a full tasting the night before, we didn't really get into the production process. I knew mezcal was derived from agave, but that's where my knowledge ended until this stop. The process was really interesting to learn, but even after this second tasting, I still can't say I'm a fan of mezcal. It's just really not my kind of drink. Okay, so I am back at the hotel. I am dripping ice cream on me. Yeah, I didn't really sleep well last night, so going on this excursion, I was very tired. <laughs> Um, oh, I think I forgot to film the buffet we went to. We went to a buffet between um, Metla and the Mezcal distillery. Um, so yeah, I don't really feel like going out for dinner, which is why I just got an ice cream from the convenience store, as well as a bunch of snacks. You can see them there on my bed. Because we are leaving at like 6 a.m. tomorrow morning to head to Puerto Escondido out by the ocean. It's going to be great. But um, yeah, I'm not hungry. It's like almost 7 maybe. What time is it? Yeah, it's just after 7 now. I'm not hungry. I don't feel like going out. I'm very tired and we have to get up very early tomorrow. So... Yeah, um, I think the ride there is going to be nice, but rough. I heard the road isn't uh, great, and I do have motion sickness issues, which is why I also think I should just go to bed early today. So, um, yeah, I guess that is it for Oaxaca. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll be back with another one soon. Bye.